Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, that's gonna be just a little uh, introduction about the next tutorial uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, it's still a work in progress, so I don't know yet when that's gonna be uh, like, uh, the f when the first video is gonna come finally, I don't know yet, but I'm gonna just show you what it's gonna be to just kind of like get you a bit more uh, excited about what's going, what's coming in the next few uh, day or week. So, um, it's been a while since I've done uh, a web a tutorial. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, React Native stuff and things like that. But uh, in the past few months, I was working on some of my like uh, little side projects and stuff like that. And I really kind of like uh, fall in love back with the web. And and yeah, sometimes it's a bit more, much more easier than the React Native. So. <laughs> So uh, in this one, I'm gonna uh, show you like uh, what is gonna be the technology we're gonna learn and also what type of project uh, we're gonna build. So this tutorial is gonna be like building kind of like a Twitter clone. Uh, first thing, I uh, we don't gonna have all the feature. Uh, like the feature we're gonna have is gonna be the authentication. We're gonna be able to log in and register. We're gonna also talk about CRSRF token, cookies and stuff like that. All that's gonna be managed by Adonis. It's gonna be pretty easy. We're gonna be able to create, delete a tweet, like, dislike a tweet, bookmark, on bookmark, comment on the tweet, see the user profile and stuff like that, and like, dislike, comment. We don't gonna have like the following thing like that because I feel like we're gonna have already a lot of relationship. I don't want this tutorial to like uh, go and go and go and get like 100 video. I don't want to get that. I just want to like, it's more like a, a show of all those technology work really well together. And all after that, you can build your own project with that. So uh, some of the maybe bonus we're gonna build is gonna be scroll restoration. You're gonna see it's, it's kind of a pain. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is one of the thing I didn't like but uh, I'm looking uh, right now to see how I can fix that. And we also maybe gonna check hashtag, but I'm not quite sure yet. So those things are like maybe 5% chance we're gonna get there. So that depend about how people gonna like the video and stuff like that. So the technology we're gonna use is gonna be an XGS. So that's gonna be kind of like the front end uh, big framework we're gonna, gonna use. So Next.js, um, I'm pretty sure everyone know what is that. It's a way for you to render like server-side rendering React stuff in, in the for the browser and stuff like that. And also can do other stuff like static uh, side and stuff like that. This is the thing we're gonna see uh, in the tutorial. Also, we're gonna use React Query. So for those who like, like Apollo and GraphQL and stuff like that, for me, uh, yeah, like GraphQL, I like it, but uh, I'm back in REST uh, quite a lot in the past few months and I really like it and React Query make it like a breeze, like it's the best, I think it's one of the best library I've seen f for at least two, three years f uh, easy. Uh, after that, we're gonna use Adonis GS version five. Um, so it's kind of like a Laravel or Ruby on Rails for Node.js. It's pretty awesome. I did like version four, uh, four. I did some tutorial on my blog, but now with version five, all is in TypeScript and it go really, really well. Um, you're gonna see all that. After that, uh, I'm gonna make use of React Hook Form. I know in the past I've been using Formic and stuff like that, but in the past few, Week also React Hook form really start to appeal me a lot, uh, make a bit more easier I think than for me, and I feel it's a bit more cleaner. So I'm gonna show you that we're gonna still use Yop for the validation. I mean it's the library I've been using for uh, almost three years now, and uh, really I have no issue with that. And for the UI we're gonna use Chakra UI. So um, um, you're gonna see all that in a moment. So. Adonis GS is going to be the portion for the backend. So you're going to see we're going to have raw controller and model. Everything is going to be pretty simple. You're going to see if you came from a Laravel or Rails or even almost Django, maybe not, but you're going to find you're going to find it quite easy to go with that. Uh, it's really awesome. You have a lot of stuff with that and it's uh, I really like everything you can do with that. And you're going to see it's pretty simple. They give you a lot out of the box. It's built on top of Express and yeah, it just, I mean, 
why go with express and do everything from scratch and think like what you do it's always the best thing when you can at least get something a lot more people use it and you can see you can you know like if they have done this thing you know they they work for a lot of other people so it's kind of like battle test and stuff like that after that i'm gonna use that next js so that's the thing i told you like it's a way for you to do like server side rendering a react a hybrid static and stuff like that it's really awesome used by a lot a lot and a lot of people and it's kind of like the de facto now for my project when i build react web app react query uh, like i say it's uh, like the best library I've seen for a while. It's a way for you finally to kind of like fetch the recipe API, your recipe API, but like kind of like a Apollo GraphQL way. You're gonna see what I mean by that. It's like, first thing they use hook really easily. You're gonna see like, if you look at query, you're gonna do your query like almost what you can do with Apollo hook and stuff like that. Like use query, you give it a key and you give it like your API fetch call, whatever you have. And they're gonna do the thing for you. They uh, they work with stale loading and all the uh, state of what you can get from your uh, uh, query finally. And like Apollo, like you have the error is loading and stuff like that. You have the data, you get that back. You can refetch, and it's really really awesome. And they work really well with something called query invalidation. So it's a way for you to like. Uh, like when you need to like kind of refetch some of the query because the some stuff did change and stuff like that so this is the kind of stuff i really like and plus they work really well with next.js and i know some people are gonna say what well, yes but why don't use swr built by the team of next.js i just feel like react query it's a bit better i have a lot more stuff and i really like it plus the docs as you can see it's a yeah it's a really really great and they work with infinite scroll and stuff like that and this is one of the thing uh, we're gonna need in our app uh, because i mean it's a twitter app so you're gonna have the infinite scroll in the feed so you make all your life easier plus they come with a really really nice um, dev tool and this is what we're gonna see uh, in the tutorial after that i'm gonna use react hook form so react hook form finally it's almost like what you do with formic so you create your form and with that, you can register right away with the ref of your input. And with that, after that, you can submit and stuff like that. And they work really well the, with the schema validation, like example with Yup. So you create your uh, validation, you're gonna register your stuff and you're gonna submit and that's it. And you can show the error and stuff like that. And it's all built with uh, TypeScript. So it, it works really, really well uh, with TypeScript. So you don't have any kind of uh, issue with the type. So it's pretty nice. And finally, for the uh, uh, for the UI, we're gonna use a Chakra. So I've been loving uh, Tailwind CSS a lot, like a lot. And I mean, like all my project now use Tailwind for more than a year now. And the thing is, um, I did want to use that for the tutorial, but I don't want to focus on the UI and I don't want to lose too much time on the UI and things like that. And I feel like Chakra UI kind of like follow the Tailwind stuff. I think they even say like it's one of the um, ID behind. But the thing is they have already created a lot of components we're gonna make use of it. Like example, uh, like alert and stuff like that. Like if you want to show some alert or example, uh, showing like a, a model and thing like that showing a model and stuff like that like we don't gonna need to kind of like get react portal and stuff like that so it's pretty nice and they have also some stuff like a skeleton like a loading skeleton and stuff like that and i really feel like it's pretty awesome for us and make our life easier plus it make it really really easy to make like a color mode so maybe that's gonna be something i can show you it's like to toggle like the light and dark team i don't know like it's kind of like the hype in the front end right now like every app have this uh, toggle mode so yeah so i'm gonna show you that it's not done yet okay so uh, so here we have the login page so as you can see i can log and we have the validation of the react hook form so i'm gonna just put the password I'm gonna click remember me because the remembering not gonna save the token in the database. I'm gonna click submit and now as you can see I'm getting to the app and with some loading time I've got to this page. So I'm logging now 
as you can see now i can uh, like uh, a tweet i put those toes like i mean it's just because i just want to show you the toes i don't think this is something i will add because it can become pretty messy but i'm just gonna show you that you can bookmark also uh, and when you bookmark after that your bookmark uh, go to the bookmark page like you have on uh, twitter plus the fact you can also like from those uh, there and that's gonna also like from this page so like i say it's kind of like the apollo stuff where you have where you have like a cache but you need to kind of event date so you're gonna all see that you can unbook more stuff from this screen also and those unbook more are gonna get removed and yeah so you have the infinite loading like i've shown you you have stuff like that uh, also have this uh, screen right there where you when you click you see the status and each status can have a lot of comments all that it's built by uh, factories factories came from adonis so i, I was uh, using factory and i was seeding like i think like yeah, 20 comments for each tweet and yeah so you see you have the infinite load also to the screen so it's not yet done it's still in work in progress i have some issue so and here you can create a tweet so i don't know like i'm really bad in tweeting so i'm gonna do something like that I'm gonna click tweet and as you can see the tweet appear at the top and you can uh, you can bookmark your tweet if you want and things like that so that's what i've done yet it's not uh, perfect yet i have some issue i have some little bug something to uh, fix but that's the thing uh, and i'm gonna show you like the um, i'm gonna show you some weight so this way you're gonna see the skeleton so if you wait you see now i put a really big weight where you see the skeleton so you you can uh, see like uh, how all that gonna feel like with chakra ui and you see if i scroll down the loading of the infinite scroll it's coming and it take a while because i think my weight is like 10 seconds so <laughs> i just because i did want to show you and you see the infinite scroll is working uh, and I also have made like if you click here you click tweet now the tweet it's uh, blocking uh, because now I still have my invalidation uh, of my queries coming out because the uh, the tweet's not yet done I'm gonna show you that it's gonna came sorry I put like too much time I think so gonna came gonna came one sec I don't even remember what I've typed so uh, I'm gonna just show you also for this one and I'm gonna just change the way to be a bit um, Like I'm gonna go with two uh, Two seconds so you see we have the skeleton now And now if I create something so something and I click tweet you see the loading spinner and Now it's working. So this is what I've done uh, right now It's not perfect. I have some bugs some me issue like I say uh, this is uh, still a work in progress, but that was just to uh, show you what's gonna came in my uh, next tutorial. So I hope you enjoy it and we're gonna talk in the next one. If you have any question about this tutorial, put that in the comments. Also, please subscribe if you didn't and we're gonna talk in the next one. Bye everyone.